There's a party going on right here. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Blooms for You. Haha, <laughs> look at this. We've got ourselves a little party going on on the stand. Let me make some formal introductions. To the left, Cousin It, Maxillaria variabilis. In the middle, Hippie Key. And why not? And to the right, that is Encyclia Garciana Alba. I know, a little bit different, don't want to bore you. Well, Hibiki obviously still is in bloom. I am losing a few little blooms here and there, but still looking spectacular. But because Hibiki is fading a little bit, and I don't want to seem like I'm really stretching and pushing the subject with Hibiki, I thought I would bring in Encyclia Garciana over there to the right to also dedicate the blooms of Encyclia Garciana Alba to everybody that is watching this video. Today, tomorrow, in 20 months from now, who knows? Thank you for being here. And guess what? Yes, this is Blooms for You. I go down my list of subscribers and people that have commented. Whether they are subscribed or not, I cannot tell. But if you leave a comment in the comment section below and you are a new name, you go on the list and eventually an orchid will bloom and your name will come up and that bloom gets dedicated to you. But for those of you that are not mentioned here today, hello from Cousin It, my blooms from Dendrobium Hibiki and Garciana Alba to the right, they bloom for you. Now, the Garciana on the right doesn't look like much at this point in time. So let's go in a little bit closer because it's like finding strawberries. Let's go. There she is. You really have to start digging. Lots and lots of blooms. And as in true Cousin It fashion, he's like, she smells nice. Yes, Cousin It, she smells beautifully. And you know her, yes. Yes, you know her. She's your neighbor. Yes, she is indeed. She lives very close to you. And you smell her a lot. Yes, you do. Because she smells nice. Yes, yes, she smells really nice. And she smells like fancy talcum powder. Don't you agree, Cousin It? Fancy, delicate talcum powder. How far away are you from her? You're about, what, a meter away and you can smell her? Yeah, me too. Me too. Look at that. And you think she's doing well? Well, she's that pretty. Okay, she's doing well. Yeah, she's doing really well because you're watching over her. I get it. I get it. Yeah, thank you for watching over her all this time. But look at all these blooms. Look at all these blooms. We've got guests, cousin. It. We can't just be the two of us here having a conversation. They are everywhere and more are coming. Yes, I know some have died, Cousin It. Some have already gone. That is true. But so many more are coming. Are you not getting sick of the fragrance? No, no. <laughs> no, me neither. It is nice to come and visit you now, Cousin It, because of this fragrance here. But yes, back to the video, Cousin It, please. Encyclia Garciana is doing very, very well. We're getting over the concertina leaves. We are getting more and more blooms to actually form properly. The new growths are coming out remarkably well. I'm very, very pleased with how this is turning out. She has bugs sometimes, Cousin It. Sometimes she gets bugs. And yes, I know, I know, you've got one up on her. You don't have bugs. That's true. You never get bugs. Thank you, Cousin It. I appreciate that. Sorry about that, guys. This is a little bit longer, but we have more to look at here because I want you to understand that I appreciate having you here and that also Dendrobium hibiki, looking marvelous, is also still blooming for you, dedicated to you to say thank you so very, very much for watching this video, for leaving a comment. And if you haven't ever done so, please go right ahead and eventually I will be able to single out an orchid that is in bloom and dedicate her specifically to you, like what we're going to do right now. Trisha L. Sun, officially an orchid ninja. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous Tolumnia here. It's a no ID in my books. I would not want to mislead anybody because I have all my Tolumnias, well, the majority of my Tolumnias are mislabeled. But I hope that doesn't take away of how gorgeous this first time bloomer is for me. Look at 
this spike. I was waiting and waiting so that we could get the whole thing in bloom to say thank you, Orchid Ninja Trisha L. Sun, for your support on my channel for becoming officially an Orchid Ninja. And I wanted to just have this just be in full bloom because there are branches in bloom. Right here is a branch. There you can see. And this is a branch as well. So the front blooms, they had already opened and I'm like, oh, please, please hold on, hold on. They haven't quite faded. They're not as fresh and bright as the new ones that have opened, but you can see they're not old. So I'm not giving you any old blooms. Please don't get me wrong, but I wanted it so badly to be fully, fully in bloom so that all the branches and all the blooms, you can see the variety of that fiery fall color oranges and yellows and of course my favorite favorite when I see Tolumnias like this that teddy bear feature with the fuzzy ears and the cute little snout oh gosh I am really really pleased to be able to say thank you to you Trisha L. Sun via these blooms even though I cannot identify them as with all Tolumnias unfortunately they are not fragrant trying to keep the basket in the viewfinder, maybe if I scoot it back, because I wanted to see the full impact of it. Look at that. How many blooms are there anyway? So there, on that one branch, there's four. On the other branch, there's four, that's eight. And then on the front, we've got two, four, five. There we go, 13 blooms on a first time spike. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've got the angle of the sun. I was going to film her in the shade, but the white walls were reflecting so hard, they were actually washing out the colors. And here it's working in the sun. It's beautiful. Anyway, Orchid Ninja, Trisha L. Sun. My Tolumnia, despite being no ID, I've got 13 blooms. They all bloom for you. And I hope that you are as much a Tolumnia fan as I am. Look at that. Thank you, Trisha L. Sun, ever, ever so much for your support on my channel. Orchid Ninja, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. New bloom in the house. Cousin, it is the one that's horking the view of this bloom at the moment. He has to inspect first. Actually, what the two of us have been doing is kind of trying to identify this bloom. What is it to be exact? Because if you know my channel, if you've been here long enough, you will know that this orchid was sold to me as a Cygnotus Wine Delight, which, <clears throat> yes, clearly it is not. But, you know, you grow an orchid and then you wait and see what happens. Anyway, before I turn the bloom to us, seeing as Cousin It has had plenty of time to observe and study and has come up empty. Nicola Henry, thank you to Michael McCarthy, who possibly has the right identification for this bloom. This could be Lycasti marcophylla crossed with Skinnery. So let's get in a little bit closer and have a look-see. Nicola Henry, let's assume this is a Lycasti marcophylla crossed with Skinnery, but there is no assumption here that I dedicate this bloom to you to say thank you ever so much for supporting me here on my channel. First bloom, no fragrance, but she's absolutely gorgeous, I must say. And she's rather big as well. Check this out. That is some bloom. Pretty, pretty impressive. She's been open four days now. The only thing I can say is that I was hoping for more blooms, but you know, as orchid growers, we are greedy. Second thing I can say is, what are these spots coming here? Are you already going to fail on me? Like, you know, go over? They weren't there yesterday. So I'm sorry I didn't quite capture this bloom while it was super pristine. But my goodness, there's still enough there to look at, I would say. If we can get the camera to do its job right, actually. How about if I do my job properly? I think that's better, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? I tried to film her in the sun, but she has such a crystalline effect. It is incredible. It just resonates and bounces back and it's almost blinding. Yeah, I love this bloom. 
imagine a few more of these at the same time. Impressive. And we'll have to wait and see if her second blooming she'll be fragrant. She is now very busy already starting the new growth and also kicking off with the roots. Full on growth mode and fertilizer. She gets really, really big. She has the same kind of leaf size as my Sologeny Pandorata. So her dormant period wasn't very long. I had the leaves up until June and only then did they start to deteriorate very, very slowly. And suddenly she popped out a bud and hooray, here she is. Nicola Henry, my first bloom of Lycasti, possibly Mark Filler crossed with Skinnery. She's all yours. Thank you so much for your support here on my channel. I wanted to zoom in on my Lelia perinii that is currently in bloom. As far in as I could go, there's a bit of wind, so let's zoom out a little bit. This is for Lou Logar. I have a single bloom on my Lelia perinii. Just one bloom, but that is all I need to dedicate this to you, Lou Logar, to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. That's all I ever ask for. If I can give two, three, four blooms, I am much happier. But if I don't get a single bloom, then, you know, I have to wait for the next orchid to bloom. But Leila Perinei has come through for me this year, despite the fact that she is a little bit shorter in her growth than she was in the previous year, where I had two blooms. But I have never, ever had a bloom of this size, with this shape, standing upright and not being squashed out by another bloom, not getting crowded out. And she is a large bloom in comparison to what I've seen in the past. Beautiful. I don't have a fragrance this year though, which is astounding because in past years I did have a fragrance, a very light rose fragrance, something akin to, you know, when people say the typical Caplia fragrance, that, not knockout, nothing that would fill a room, You'd have to get really close to smell her, but no, this year I don't have that. Probably because she is blooming later in the year than I've ever had her bloom before. Her usual bloom time for me in the past years was end of June towards the beginning of July. And here we are now in fall and my perinei is blooming. So my conclusion for that is she has finally acclimated. It's a shame when I zoom out, we kind of lose the color because of the reflection of the wall behind me. That is why I keep zooming in. Nothing to do with trying to hide the orchid itself. There's nothing wrong with the orchid. The leaves are fine. <laughs> but I think Lulugar would have a much better visual of the true colors of this gorgeous, gorgeous bloom when zooming in, especially that deep, deep burgundy, rich, lavender it's not lavender it's a rich burgundy color which is just amazing it's almost electric in real life fades a little bit here it doesn't exactly show the velvety characteristics of the texture of that lip super super soft it's like a beautiful soft elegant luxurious material to me it feels like satin but very very beautiful and then the contrast with that exceptional white striking color right next to it. I love this bloom. I'm happy to have it. And I'm happy that I can dedicate it to Lou Lugar. Thank you very, very much for your support here on my channel. You are so appreciated. And I hope I managed to get that message across. Skippy B, my Sologeny Lime Bay has produced a seventh bloom that I'm going to dedicate to you as a thank you, muchos, muchos thank yous for supporting my channel. Your support has also been so appreciated in the past year. Really want to say thank you to you for that. Seventh bloom, Sologeny Lime Bay. We go from left to right, left to right because of how the spike is zigzagging and the orientation of the bloom changes every time a new one opens. This time, we don't look at it through the sepia type filter. That wasn't a filter, that was the atmosphere. Very yellow back then. 
And I wanted to show how the bloom responds, how the atmosphere and the light is. So this is its best form, Lime Bay, with a translucent lime-colored petals and sepals. Now we can get in there a little bit more today, based on the light. Awesome. Just awesome. The fragrance is fading a little bit now. It's not as obvious, the dusty, dusty room kind of fragrance. So that's not as intense as it used to be. I guess maybe that has to do that we're later in the season. And there's another thing as well, later in the season, and I only have, only, greedy much, <laughs> seven blooms so far on my spike. And I was already at bloom 13 last year this time. But the orchid itself is progressing really well. I thought I was going to get another growth starting. That hasn't in actual fact even started yet. So goodness me, who knows what's going to happen in the winter. This one is also going to be interesting to take care of throughout the winter. Challenges, challenges. But yeah, Skippy B, this is my seventh bloom of my Sologeny Lime Bay, saying thank you via this bloom to you for your support here on my channel. For real, cousin it, for real, stop with it, stop, your turn is coming. Oh my goodness, I hope that you enjoyed the blooms that you just saw and I hope that eventually everybody will see the video and the blooms that have been dedicated to them. Cousin it is just like in my head. He says that he has beautiful blooms as well. Trouble is right now you're not in bloom, cousin it. We're getting there. You're close. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. I'm putting you in the viewfinder. Don't worry. Be happy. Right now, it's still Hibiki time. And as we have seen, it is Garciana Alba time. Thank you, everybody, so very, very much for putting up with Cousin It. Okay, correction. Good grief. Thank you, everybody, so very, very much for putting up with myself and Cousin It. All right, we won't be singling anybody out. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll be also seeing a little bit more of the Garciana Alba as she keeps opening those gorgeous, gorgeous, fragrant blooms. Have a beautiful day. I appreciate your time so much. Please stay safe and take care. Bye. Oh, be quiet. Oh, stop. Cousin it for real, enough already.